This video is going to break down how to run the 4-3 even 6-1 defense in Madden 25. This is going to be the Minnesota Vikings playbook. There are other playbooks that have this, but if you guys want to check out my entire Minnesota defensive ebook, it is completely up to date. If you guys want to get access to that, you can get access by becoming a school member. School.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description below. For just $10, you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks both for Madden 25 and for College Football 25, and you get everything for just 10 bucks. So if you want to sign up, link is down below. But we're going to be breaking down 6-1 in this video, and what you're going to want to do is in your coach adjustments, you are going to want to turn auto alignment to base, auto flip defensive play call off, and in my opinion, I like to put the hooks on five when I run this defense um, because it's primarily based out of cover four quarters, which is... You know, you, you don't want to necessarily always have that match coverage. If you want to run match coverage, then you can turn this back to default. But in general, I basically generally um, like to run it like this, okay? So 4-3-1-6-1, how do you run this defense? The best way to run this defense, in my opinion, is to flip it. So we're going to be flipping our cover four quarters every single time. And I'm going to first show you the Sin 4 Blitz. So the Sin 4 Blitz is a little inconsistent in terms of practice mode, but basically the setup is you are going to shift your defensive line to the left side. If you want to show blitz, that can get these safeties in the box, or you can just bring them in yourself. You're going to slant your defensive line here to the left side, and at the snap of the ball, you are just going to run into the center. And a lot of times you see there, we're able to get that A-gap pressure from that defensive tackle. This is going to force different types of pass protection. It's one of the best ways to just have a little nice send for defense. But ultimately, you're also going to want to send different types of pressure. So one of my favorite blitzes that looks very similar to the send four is what I can do from a send five perspective. So we're just going to shift to the left side, and now we're just going to blitz this linebacker off of the left side. So as you see here, this is what the defense is going to look like. You can adjust your coverage however you want. So if you want to put a cloud over here, you could do that. But basically what's going to happen is this edge pressure is going to come in pretty clean post patch off that edge as you see right there. So we're able to get that five-man edge rush off of the left side, uh, which is going to force them into different types of pass protection. One of the main ones you're going to see is a blocked running back, but I also want to show you another send five that I think is really, really good. So this other send five is where we're going to send five off of the right side. And when you shift to the left side, what you're going to do is you're going to blitz this linebacker on the right side of the screen. You're going to slant your defensive line to the left like you're running that A-gap type of rush. And then you're going to QB contain. You see there, this is what the defense looks like. And basically, you're going to stand kind of right over the top of the center. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that you can either get this edge rush from this contain or you can get this loop from the defensive tackle. Now, this five-man version of this pressure is really good once they start to do things to try to pick up your other rushes. We'll see if we can get a little bit better of a user here and get this pressure to come in. As you see, he loops around, and you're going to get a nice little loop blitz off of that edge. Another thing you can get with, though, with this is you can occasionally get this linebacker to come in. I don't know why he's not. We'll actually leave the line slanted to the right, and you see there, that's actually really clean pressure off that right edge. So you don't even have to necessarily slant your line to the left. You can literally just blitz a linebacker like this, keep everything the same, and you see here, really clean pressure. And that time we got an A-gap out of it. So the beauty of 6-1 is this is one of those defenses that gets better as the years goes on. And so that is a sin 4 and a sin 5. And now I'm going to show you a sin 6 pressure when you're sitting six typically what i'm going to do is get up in the box get a little bit more aggressive with my coverage maybe put some soft squats out there uh, but basically you're going to shift over and now you're just going to blitz both of the linebackers so you see this is what the defense looks like and the purpose of this blitz is for when they start to block people uh, when they start to block a running back block a tight end you want to have good pressure uh, that you can rely on and this is kind of one of those blitzes for me so you'll see here and again you can do whatever you want with the coverage behind it it's all about this hover kind of pulling this left guard in. If you can pull this left guard in for just a split second, you're going to get pressure. Notice that when the running back goes to the linebacker, oftentimes it's going to open up some gap rushes and uh, things like that. So that's another thing that's really good about this defense. And then if you wanted to slant outside here, we'll see if we can get this to work a little better. And there you see slant outside, you get that DT through the A gap uh, or through the B gap over there. So this defense all in all is just really equipped to be able to handle a lot of different types of pass protection. 
One of the things we didn't cover yet is a block tight end. If they block a tight end, you're just going to get that nice clean edge rush off the left side. So you see that they're going to have to, you know, be forced to max protect, which is what makes it good. And then you can send that send for disengage. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out the entire defense, make sure you join the school community link in the description below.